In this video, we're going to be installing caster plates and a 600 millimeter or 24 inch wide rack. Part number that I'll be installing 9967480. This consists of two caster plates, one of which has swivels, hardware, and an instruction manual. Um, tools that you'll need basically a T25 Torx and a T30 bit or screwdriver. I prefer to have a longer extension or to double up on the extensions for this. Two ways you can do this. One with the leveling feet fully extended if you don't have room to lay the cabinet down. The other way to do this would be to lay the cabinet on its back or side which I prefer. It makes it much easier to do. The first thing that we're going to have to do in a 600 wide rack is to remove the installation rails on which the 19 inch mounting rails sit. This ends up covering some of the hole pattern that we're going to need to install the caster plates. So I simply remove two self-tapping screws and the whole frame then moves apart. You can leave the installation rails separate or what I prefer to do was to leave the self-tapping screw from the factory installed and so then the whole rack system stays together. This is a matter of preference for you. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do this and this way is the more difficult way just to show you that it can be done and this is with the cabinet fully standing up and the leveling feet extended. This is to show you that you can still get this done if you don't have the room to lay the, the cabinet back over. So what I want to do is I want to bring my caster plate into alignment with the front and the sides. Now there's tabs on the rear and I prefer to get those started first by hand on the left or right side and again you're going to have to move that 19 inch rail and the installation rails uh, to get to this space. Do the right and the left side so you're going to use what's called a threaded block that inserts down into the frame and then an M8 bolt that goes from the inside into that block uh, through a mounting tab on the back side of the casters and it's going to be your preference whether you choose to put the swivel in the front or the swivels in the back. The other thing I like to prefer to do here is leave the hardware a little bit loose as you're starting it. Um, it just makes everything easy just like if you were to put a tire onto a car you kind of get all the lug nuts started and then you come back in and tighten them up when it's done. Now on the front ones you're going to put the threaded block through the frame and then you're going to come in, I like to get it started by hand this way um, making sure that the hole through the caster plate goes into the threaded block and the hardware that I got started and then I can come in behind a little bit later and take my uh, extension and my T30 bit and then tighten this up. This is the benefit of having the longer extension or a longer hand tool is to be able to get through the back of the plate the hole that's already designed into that to the reach the front. Otherwise if you're doing this with a cabinet laid down you can get to it through another way and it's a little simpler. Now I'm going to go back and I'll tighten up the side fasteners just to make sure that everything's tightened down. Finish putting in our fasteners in the front. So you really just have four pieces, right? You've got your caster plate and then you have the two uh, bits of hardware on the right and left side of the rear of the plate and then there's two fasteners in the front that hold the plate into the front of the cabinet. Now what I've done here is tip the cabinet over which makes it very accessible and very easy because now the plate will kind of hold itself in place as you're um, tightening up the hardware. That's the preferred method for me uh, but you may not have space to do that. Now as we're going back through to reinstall everything 
the threaded block has a tab on it that's sticking up out of the frame. This is designed to actually snap off. One side of it is scored. Now that allows me to have a nice smooth surface and move my rail set right back over that hole pattern and have no interference. So keep in mind those are allowed to and are designed to snap away anywhere that it might create an interference. So you do that with the front and the back. Now in an 800 wide cabinet you don't have to move any of the rails because the hardware is totally accessible to the frame without having to move any of the, the frame sections and then when you're done now you've got your casters on slide your rack into place and you're good to go. Thank you for watching.